Yeah. Woo! <laughs> refreshing? Um, very refreshing. Very refreshing. Okay, we just made it to the next campground. Jeff Busby, it's the number it's two campground coming from either north or south out of the free campgrounds on the Natchez Trace. And first come, first serve, so we don't know if we're gonna get a location. Well, it look like a restroom right here already available. So, Kega leading and turning in, and I see a little mountain sign and a campground sign to the left. Go straight, baby. From what we understand, this is only eight spots, and we turn it in and see a car here already. Hopefully, 18, that's right. Okay, corrected me. Okay, I don't know which way we're supposed to go, but kind of look confusing. But I see tables with nobody by them, and we're gonna get a back-end spot. So let's ride around until we find something, because this campground also has pull-through and back-end. There's another pull through. I'm gonna ride through this pull through. Look like there's one, two, three spots on the pull through. Go straight. And look like big litter boxes. Another restroom. They got a sign say Mono no Bicycle. Well, it look like we're gonna find a spot. I don't know if we're gonna find a spot that we want, but it looks pretty empty again. Kind of hard to believe that these are free <laughs> and we could travel our motorcycle on it there's, there's a couple right there with uh drinking out of water fountain so there's water drinking here or drinking water here there is no electric or anything but you know it is what it is we're gonna find a spot most likely we're gonna stay here two nights possibly three and finish riding the trace and if we decide to go all the way up into Tennessee, we'll probably stop at Mary, Mary Weather Lewis Campground, also another free one, and we'll bring that to you guys also. So let's slow down a bit and start looking at what we've seen so far. This butterfly has been following us for the longest on the Natchez Trace, from Mississippi to Alabama to Tennessee, back to Mississippi to Alabama. Look how beautiful it is. Black butterfly. So cool. <laughs> oh man, I like this. There go my baby. Scrolling. <laughs> ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da.
Yeah. Right there, yes. See? Look hard, straight down. Yes. Oh, where the pole? Where the pole? Yeah, it ain't enough to catch or eat. But this is the spring. Oh, we saw the water bubbling there. Over here. Oh, it stopped. It stopped bubbling. Right there, you see the center the bubbling right spring there. of water coming up here. And the sign talked about fish, so we actually saw fish. And this is where rock springs come out to. Look at the bubbles coming up. See the bubbles? You missed it? I see it. I'm trying to see that in big fish. <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's any huge, big, giant fish. Oh, this is nice. Something churning the water over here. Goes all the way back there. <laughs> now, see what happens? Is this lily starting to fall? Where? Is little... Is a little thing? I don't know. Micro organisms? I don't know. This is what you miss. They're going to bring bubble in again, baby. This is what you will miss if you just ride Natchez Trace and do not stop. This is a recommended stop for us. I would recommend that you stop here. It's called Rock Springs. Rock Springs. That's and it. it is beautiful. Alabama. Sun is out. It's Alabama. kind of morning. Where we are? Alabama? Alabama. Alabama proportion of it. Oh. Alabama. But look at that. I wish I had the long pole. I'll stick it under there and see if I can catch the fish. Yeah. Okay, we finally get into our last campsite that we're going to be staying here on Natchez Trace. It is Meriwether Lewis campsite of the Lewis and Clark Expedition. Straight ahead, baby. Straight, yes. And we're going to be camping here probably two days again. This is the first, if you're coming from northbound going south, and if you're coming from southbound like we done going north, it's the last free campsite that's actually on the Natchez Trace. And no reservations, just come as you are. We're getting here late, it is after five o'clock because we had a long day, a long detour that took us all over the place. So it looks like campsite is to the right. And we're hoping there's some available. <laughs> the first site we got to, we got there early in the morning. Well, not early in the morning, but early enough that we wasn't worried about any available. Second was another late pull-in, and this one is another late pull-in. So it looks like we got to go all the way up, a little farther up to find a campground. And we know this one, just like the last one we came from, it has drinking water, but that's it. No cell service, no hookup for RVs, no electricity, none of that. But, <laughs> like always, we love it because it, it's free. Well, that's if we get a spot. Otherwise, we got to figure something kick. Don't have a GoPro on, she laughing. Otherwise, we got to figure something out. What'd you say, baby? Oh, yeah, she said we're going to ask somebody to share their pad. We put patches up next to them. I like it because it's a little further off the road than the rest of the campgrounds, even though even though we haven't gotten there yet. Okay, I see a brown sign coming up, campground to the right. All right, everybody, we keeping our finger crossed. A little Swine Creek straight ahead. Okay, I see people here already, but I see some clear spots already. So we're gonna do like we normally do, just drive around. I will go to the right first, make a big loop. Oh, that's a good one. That's a back end. Okay, I like that. Number one. No, let's keep going. Oh, they're numbered. Normally, we go to these places, they aren't numbered. Pull through. No. Another one. Okay. Hey, nice. We can get patches on the ground. Oh, actually, the one on the other side looks like it's a back end. Okay, we'll go around and, and do one of these back ends a little deeper in instead of getting the one that's right close. We got us a spot. Cake up the singing. <laughs> Tip number one, fail. So I wanted to go that way. Turn the wheel that way. So only still up turning and straighten it out. So I'm turning, straighten it out. Uh-huh. What y'all know about that? Look at my baby. Go, baby. Look at my baby. Oh, 
back it up, back it up. Mm. Job, everybody. Back the thing up. This fine woman gonna back, back the thing up. <laughs> oh, the back patches are all. Oh. I like this kind of job. I might wind up having to stay here three days instead of two. <laughs> Okay, you're going to you're going to I got it, I'm straight to back out. I straight it back out. I straight it back out. I'll put it all the way to the edge and then see where we want to go from there. Good morning, good morning. Another day on Natchez Trace Parkway. Rich is over there about to flip some flapjacks. Rich, Chef Boy R. Rich. There you go. Flip them. <laughs> How big are you making them, son? Big. Woo! So today, after we eat our hearty breakfast, we're going on a ride and explore some of these waterfalls that's on the Natchez Trace Parkway. Yep, that's what we're doing today. And catch some of the other spots because we had to do a detour. And it took us way, way off track, off course, so we had to come back. So now we're going to backtrack and go see what we miss, explore what we miss back there. Okay? What she said. <laughs> Welcome to our village. This is a place that we think of as our home. This is our community. This is a place where we live. It's not a, only a place where we live, but a place where we take care of each other. Made it to the actual first waterfall we were looking for, and we just actually stumbled across one earlier. Okay, we found a waterfall that we was not even looking for. We just put it over on the side of the road, happened to look down at this creek, and look what we found. <laughs> we headed to waterfall, but this wasn't the one. We are at the Owens Waterfall on Natchez Trace. There it is. Can you see it? Let me pull it in a little closer. It's just a little trickle. There it is. It's a waterfall. Rich gonna take it closer. No sudden movement. <laughs> it's not that bad. I guess they got a little pool at the end. I don't know if people actually get into it. Down some. There. Yeah. I mean, we are waterfall freaks. And this is a little trickle. A little sandy beach. And. Right there. Look at the pool. I wonder how deep it is. Probably no more than three to three and a half feet at the most. Because I can't see the bottom. And cake was here. Yeah, baby. And say R K Rich and Cake. Forever. Forever, ever. Forever, ever. 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 <laughs> well, we're gonna get to this waterfall and bring that to you. Look like an easy path that we're gonna be walking. Footbridge here. And a little creek. 
We can hear the falls, but we can't see them yet. We uh, found it. What's the name of this one? Was? Remember what fall? Nope. Oh, this this one called Water Waterfall. No, <laughs> the plan. I'll put the name in once we find out what the name of the falls are. I should about to look it up. Very little reception on the trace, but for some reason she get in it. Fall Hollow Falls. Fall Hollow Falls. Okay. Guess you couldn't name it nothing else, man. Name it Fall Hollows. Anyway, let me show you when we get through. We're gonna keep the camera rolling. Beautiful wooded setting. Okay, they go that way too, to the, to the left. I think that's when I go all the way down to the big part where, can, where that platform is. Probably can see it from here. Okay, coming down now. Well, little spot right here. Careful. Down. I don't know how far down it is. Look like at least 25 or 30, maybe 40 feet. Let me see. 40 feet. And there's a bridge here where they'll try to get you closer to the first big fall that we saw. And that ain't it. We got some more waterfalls to go to too. And uh, what's the name of that one? Jackson Falls. Jackson Falls. Oh. What? Whoa, you got what you worrying about? <laughs> wow. Came through all this, and here's the reward, huh? No. What's that? That's another part of it. Yeah, this is a different, a different, different part. Hole. We didn't see this. Wow! Look at the reward. Natchez Trace Parkway, people. Like the great Tony Reno, two wheels for fun. In this life, live this life. <laughs> yeah, baby. Now we gotta try to get out of here. And that's the bridge we was actually coming to find. And now I see why they put the bridge here. You want to see the waterfall look from the bridge. Can't be no more spectacular than what we just saw. I'm assuming if we wouldn't have came down that way, we could have went all the way around and came on the shore right here. All right, here's the waterfall we was actually looking for. Oh, shit. I mean, looking for. <laughs> wow. The camera not going to pick this up. I know that. And after that, whoo, yeah, okay. Niagara Falls, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, right. Not quite behind it, because it looks it look real muddy over here, baby. I'm not going to go quite behind it, but look. Oh, yeah. A nice cool. Yeah. <laughs> refreshing? Oh, very refreshing. Very refreshing. Wow. Wow. It is. <laughs> so refreshing, though. And look at me. From that little waterfall. I can imagine what the bigger one's going to do. I know. But I'm not running for those. <laughs> that was good. Now we got to get out of here. Got to go all the way up. All the way up there. Out of this big hole that we are in. All the way up. All the way out of the way out the Back to the bridge. Oh, 
going down is easy. Going up. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I think water, my foot took one of the sleep. Okay. Top of this. on the Natchez Trace Parkway at the Double Arch Bridge. That's what it's called? Yep. Well, I don't know the official name, but it's Double Arch. They don't allow you to stop up on the bridge and you can't fly a drone. So you do the next best thing. You get your GoPro and you extend it out as far as you can. We're going to see the Gordon House, one of two remaining structures from the old trace. I don't think we can enter, but we're going over there so you guys can check it out. down now to Jackson Falls, our, I guess our third fall today. Who's only going to see two. Right. The third waterfall today, but it's a well-paved road. It's a 900 feet steep, but watch. <laughs> Comfortability, it's comfortable. We got rails to use it if we need to come up and there's a bench all the way up there. That we, we made it to Jackson Falls, got an echo in this canyon. I'm gonna turn it around so you can mm -hmm. see the magnificent you probably could hear, listen. <laughs> nah, it is dry. It's not dry. Compared to what we was expecting and where we came from, this is a trickle. And, you know, for us it's not a disappointment because we would have known if we wouldn't have came. So when you're out in the wilderness and you're enjoying nature, don't be like these people. Watch this. And we can't pick it up and bring it out with us because we don't have no bag. But when we go to camp and we see stuff like this, we pack it out. But look at this, people. That's really a shame. And they got a child diaper there. You're going to bring your kid all the way down here and change it. At least take the diaper with you. And so there's where the waterfall probably start if it was really falling, cascading all the way down over this edge here and I can imagine like KC if it was raining it'd probably be covering where she's standing and from here I can actually walk through it yeah I can walk through it rock's still kind of slippery I don't want to get too close to the edge but it heads down in that direction and I'm sure it was a, a major flow over there and a <laughs> and all the way up there like right there this looked like where it was zooming down here and flying down there but you know we like being out in the wilderness we like being out and this is still part of natchez trace parkway so if you ride natchez trace parkway slow down and enjoy it all right rich is walking on the waterfall He's able to. There he is. Hey, Rich. And hey, hey. And all the way up there. Sliding so I won't bust my butt coming down. <laughs> Rich is sliding. Down. Come take on, the I'm the easy way. Why <laughs> make it hard when you can take it easy? Sit down Come and slide on. down. Because if I fall and start tumbling down there, oh, we're going to have some problems. Yeah, you are. I'm going to have to call for help. Yes, we are Mary Loretta Lewis, um, the captain of the Lewis and Clark expedition. And 
This is all the historic sites down here. I don't know what this house is. I'm going to turn the camera I around. I wonder if that's the house where he was killed. Yeah, they did. They did say. But then why they say the grave site is up there? I'm talking about the grave is up there. Oh, okay, okay. But this is where he was killed when he checked in or with the lady. Died. Or died. Because they don't know if it was suicide or murder. So let's go see what this is. Okay. Oh, this thing not going to tell us. They got a <laughs> uh, up-to-date poster of the trace. And obviously the doors are closed. We got an alarm at the bottom just in case somebody try to break in. So going over here and see what this sign placard says. And then we're gonna get back on the bikes and walk. Grinder house in which Yeah, that's what that is. Oh the grinder house where he got well his debt the night of October 11, 1809. Yes. Yeah. So I guess that's where he died, like Cake said. I'm not going too far. My teeth fell on my body. Yeah, so now we're going to go around and ride around to his burial site where there's a, a monument, a memorial, a monument of his burial site over there. Chasing waterfalls. That's not a real big one, but it's beautiful. It's still metal. Still on that street. Touch the water, bitch. <laughs> Touch the water, bitch. Really? Waking up to this on um, camping trips is just so calming and relaxing. Although we had to hike to this one for a little bit. But I wake up too. And the water is clear. Yes, 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 we have completed our 444 mile journey touring, discovering the Natchez Trace and exploring the Natchez Trace Parkway. Over eight days living on the parkway, absolutely free, 100% free. We are at the sign on the northern part in Tennessee. But the sign is at mile marker. What was it, Cake? Four, 440. 440. We went, went all the way to 400 and, well, to the end of the trace, looking for the 444 marker, which there isn't any. So we turn around and come back to take the pictures by the sign, Natchez Trace Parkway. I hope you guys enjoyed the journey. We had a lot of fun, a lot of adventure. Really, really doing what we love, being out on the road. The twistiest part is the northern part to maybe actually 40 or 50 miles into it. Then it kind of gets sweepers and, you know, kind of straight. 
but the, the favorite part is the motorcycle road is the northern part. 